You know, there is something in the parasha that we should learn a lot from this, from Yosef HaTzadik. We see something beautiful about Yosef HaTzadik. His brother throwing him to the pit. They sell him to Egypt, to Mitzrayim. He's going so much, through so much hard time and so much pain and so much problems, so much issues. He become the king of Mitzrayim. Chazal is teaching us that with the dreams that he was dreaming, he was in the pit and he got out of the pit with the dreams the same thing. Chazal is teaching us that Yosef HaTzadik is becoming the king of Mitzrayim. Nobody can move one inch in the world without Yosef HaTzadik. The brother coming to Mitzrayim. Yosef HaTzadik, I'm going to make the story short. Yosef HaTzadik comes and tells all the Egyptians next to him, all the guards, all the people next to him, please get out of the room. He's telling his brothers, you guys were thinking about me bad, to do bad stuff. But HaKadosh Baruch Hu thought about me good things. I love you guys, because you guys are my brothers. This is such a powerful meaning sentence that we should all learn from this parasha that if somebody ever did for you something, let it go. If somebody ever hurt you, let it go. If you let it go, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is going to let a lot of things go that's supposed to come on you. I'll give you guys an example. Rabbi Israel Misalant was a, a big, big, big rabbi back in the days. He was going on a train to his uh, Chatan. What happened is he was smoking and he went to the place in the train that, you know, a special place that they're smoking over there. He's starting to smoke and there's a little avrech, little person over there, come to him and said, no, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing over here? Well, you're not smoking over here. He said, I'm sorry, but this is a place special only for people that smoking. No, 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 you're not gonna, you're not gonna smoke over here. Rabbi Israel Misalant was an anvetan, you know, he was very, really humbled. He put the cigarette away. It was really hot and it was really like uh, 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 cloudy from the smoke that everyone was smoking. And he opened a little bit the window so the air can, you know, can have some fresh air. The same guy is telling him, what are you doing? It's cold over here. Please close the, close the window. So Rabbi Israel Misalant is looking at him, closing his mouth and closing the window. Because the trip to go to his Chatan is three, four days. He was really tired. So he went to sleep. After 10 minutes, 15 minutes, the guy takes like a little, uh, like a little stick and put it into his uh, nose. So Rabbi Israel Misalant is waking up and he's saying, what are you doing? He's like, no, I'm sorry, but you were snoring too much over here. I cannot stand your snores over here. Did, you know, I don't, I don't want you to be over here. Rabbi Israel Misalant, he didn't know what to do. He went to a different place. After three days, they're getting to the uh, station that everybody needs to leave and the guy that was bothering the rabbi he saw really crowded area so he came to see well, what's going on over here he said Gdol Ador is coming the biggest rabbi we have is coming oh I want to get a, a blessing from this rabbi who is that? Rabbi Israel Misalant the same rabbi that he was bothering him with the smoke with the cigarette with the window with the snoring that's the rabbi that needs right now to bless him. He was so embarrassed. He was so shy. He went and he was kissing the uh, rabbi's hand and he said, I'm sorry, rabbi. I didn't know that was you. The rabbi told him, it doesn't matter if it was me or if it was another person. You should never do it to any Jewish in the world, to anybody in the world. So the guy did tshuva and Baruch Hashem, you know, Rabbi Sarmi Salant, you know, forgive him. But the special about this story is that Rabbi Israel Misalant is asking him, why are you here? He said, I came to uh, get, you know, the teuda, the degree for the shechita. So the guy, the rabbi is telling him, you know what? Come to me tomorrow morning. I'm going to see if you know the, the alachot. And if you know everything, I'm going to give you a shortcut. And you go, you're going to be, you know, you're going to get the, 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 the degree, whatever you need to get. Wow, thank you so much. After what I did for you, he's like, don't worry what you did for me. I already forgot about everything. 
He came the next day and he saw, the rabbi saw that the guy is not really a, a big student and you know, he, he wasn't, he didn't know the halachot like, like it's supposed to be. He called his chatan and he said, do me a favor, I know this guy very well. Take him, teach him the halachot and come to me another 30 days. Rabbi Israel Misalant, you know, took the other guy for 30 days. He was teaching him all the halachot. After 30 days, they came again and Baruch Hashem, he got his teuda. What I'm trying to tell you guys is that if you learned from Yosef HaTzadik not to embarrass, not to embarrass anyone, if you learned from Rabbi Israel Misalant to forgive, this is going to be your biggest atzlacha in life. When you're going to forgive, when you're going to let it go, when you're going to sleep at night time and you said, Ribono Sholam, Hareni Mochel Vesoleach, I forgive to everyone. Lechol mi sheikh isoti, eknitoti, whoever did for me something, ben bichvodi, ben memoni, if it's with the money, it's with my kavod, I don't care. Ribono Sholam, please forgive the guy. Bezrat Hashem. If you're gonna, if you're gonna forgive, Akadosh Baruch Hu is gonna forgive you. If you're gonna let it go, Akadosh Baruch Hu is gonna let it go. But that Hashem will be a big tzaddikim and will be like Yosef Tzaddik, like Rabbi Yisrael Misalant. Forgive to everyone, and that Hashem will have the bracha and the tzlacha. Baruch Adonai Leolam. Amen. Amen.